and welcome back to A Little Box of Paints. As my friend just mentioned, today we are going to work on making some sock puppets. These are really easy sock puppets that you can do at home with a bunch of different materials. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. If you do have some specialty items like special craft materials like googly eyes or pipe cleaners or yarn, you can definitely add that on. Having a glue gun would be a great asset, but you don't need one. And I'm gonna show you how to make a sock puppet with minimal, minimal materials, because honestly, that's what I have right now. So um, what you are of course going to need is a sock or a few if you want to make a variety of sock puppets. Um, I like to work with a bigger sock. I've got some old Roots camping socks here, some cabin socks. And the reason I like them is because you have a little bit more room to work with. Um, of course, the traditional sock puppet, you just have to put your hand inside the sock, uh, use the toe to make a bit of a mouth, and that's great. What I'm gonna do is show you how you can easily add just a little bit of cardboard to the inside and some cool decorations on top, and then you'll have your sock puppet. Um, I've got some smaller socks here too, especially if you're working on this activity with kids, you might have some smaller socks in the house, which you can do as well. Um, it really just depends on the size of the cardboard that you're putting inside your sock. So. Kitty, kitty, I'm trying to film. Go away, go on, there we go. So um, let's get started. What I did was I found a piece of cardboard um, from the recycling, a Coca-Cola mini can container, um, and I cut off some of it and used a piece of that cardboard to trace out a circle. Now this is a smaller circle. I actually use the lid from a small candle from like Bath and Body Works or Ikea or something. And I use that as my tracer. Um, this size circle, okay, about the size of my palm, a little smaller, would work well for a smaller size sock. So what I did was I folded it in half and then you slide it on in and you kind of hold it in your hand like this, right? And if you place it in the right spot, you can actually kind of shove the toe end of the sock in there and then you get a bit more of a frame, almost like a Kermit the Frog kind of mouth, right? Um, of course, this is a really easy way to start. If you have other materials at home like felt, you could always take some felt, cut it out and glue it on the inside of the mouth to change the color there. Um, other types of fabric would work well too. I would really suggest trying that out if you have a glue gun. I used a bit of white glue for my sock puppet and it worked okay. Um, yeah, hot glue is probably the best, but white glue, if you're gonna be patient, can work okay too. Um, but I'm gonna show you from the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make another sock puppet out of my nice large sock here. So I am going to take my, um, piece of cardboard and I've actually got a larger tracer here. I've got a nice ceramic pot that I can work with and I'm gonna trace that down and uh, cut it out and then I will have a, another sock puppet. Come on, buddy, that's not my puzzle. Oh, kiddos, every time. So um, what I'm doing is I am tracing my sock puppet right now, um, or I guess I should say the cardboard for the sock puppet. I'm gonna trace it and cut it out. And when it has been cut out, I can then fold it in half. All right, so it's in half, it's ready to go. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna actually place it inside my little sock puppet mouth here. There we go, and it fits perfectly. Now this is where you're gonna wanna think a little bit about what kinds of details you wanna add to your sock puppet. So I want to add some eyes, um, and what I can do is take a little bit of paper. Any paper is fine. Of course, if you have googly eyes, that will work well. And you can just draw out a couple funny shape eyes. They can be together or separate. And this is where using a bit of white glue or the glue gun would come in handy. Um, I actually have a special material that I'm going to use. It's um, Velcro. And this is really handy. I bought it off Amazon. I have a ton of it. I actually used it to attach my rugs to the ground so they don't slide everywhere. Um, and it works really well. So what you can do is cut just a tiny little piece if you have something like this. And uh, I just use it almost like a double-sided tape. So I attach one side to my sock and the other side to uh, the eyes or whatever detail I wanna add, okay? Um, so I'm gonna do that. But like I said, you can use white glue or glue gun if you have that. 
I have a glue stick here. I don't know how well that will work. You can try it out, but I mean, you know, it's kind of hit or miss, I would say. So um, I'll cut out my eyes. And then I'm just going to take my um, Velcro here and stick it on one side, stick it on the other side. Place it right up here, just right above where the mouth goes. There we go. Good start. Now, I think it would also be fun to give my little critter here um, some detail inside his mouth because of the type of sock that I used. It's already a different color than the rest of the body. Um, that's why I have a little bit of red construction paper here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to cut out a little tongue. Now, this I think I'm not going to use the... Um, the, uh, oh gosh, what is it? Velcro for this. I'm going to use a little bit of white glue. And then I'm going to take that. And whenever I add things to the sock, I think it helps to have your hand in there already. And I'm just gonna press it down here. There we go. Now, if you wanna add other things to your sock, absolutely. Like I said, if you have pom-poms or pipe cleaners or anything like that, felt, you can add all kinds of details. Um, my other sock friend here that I made, I gave her a bit of a shirt, okay? Go Raiders, supporting the, supporting the school spirit, the school team, all right. And uh, yeah, here we go. There's your sock puppet. So as you can see, I now have a friend with me. Um, she's been here hanging out for a little while, but this is how you can make some easy sock puppets at home. They're a lot of fun. If you make more than one, they can play together. Um, yeah, something fun for the kids, I think, and for you. And uh, yeah, it's something really easy that you can do at home. Um, and then you'll have them for, for ages to come, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. It's kind of a little sillier than some of the other tutorials I've done. That's because it was a special request. So uh, here we go. Good luck with your sock puppets. I hope they turn out well. And thanks for watching Little Box of Paints. Have a fabulous day. <laughs> yes, you're so cute, aren't you? <laughs>